Tour alongside Teddy Atlas. And we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Here we go, round number one, scheduled for six. He has his target, he lands a straight right. Nice work with the left hand. He scores with the jab. Now he ties up there. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Able to dismiss it. Good looking jab there. There's a nice left hand able to get in. Hits him in the mug with the right. And that round comes to an end. And you know, I've turned to you many times throughout our careers broadcasting together and said, why is this guy not throwing punches? I just don't get it, Teddy. Well, there's two reasons usually. One is he's not in shape. In his case, I think he's in shape. He doesn't want to throw. I know that boggles your mind, too. What do you mean he doesn't want to throw? You think it to yourself. He's a fighter. He's in the ring. He knows that he has to throw punches. But if he throws punches, he also has to put himself in a position where the guy's going to throw back. That means he has to take more chances. And some guys would rather not take those chances. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Solid straight right hand. A well-targeted jab that time. Round comes to an end. Joe and Teddy with you here ringside. Teddy, you know, you really got to admire how accurate he is, and he makes the most of what he throws. Yeah, he makes it count. This is a guy who doesn't want to waste anything. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Doing well on the outside. Teddy, I think the fans sometimes don't appreciate it, but what he's doing right now on the outside is very smart. Well, this is a sweet science, Joe, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's understanding where he needs to be, and he's controlling that dimension. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Good exchange, he fires back. Now there's the jab. Very accurate with the overhand right. Took a shot, now he gives a left. And round three comes to an end. He's been on target with his attack. Good, accurate punching as we begin round number four here. And he's up three to zip on your scorecard, Teddy. Good counter-punching. And when you're counter-punching the right way, you're usually getting clean shots. He's getting them. Had his target in mind, but just missed. Good left hand able to land. Able to land the jab. Good return fire that time. Now hugging on the inside. Just missed scoring with that punch. Well, Teddy, you gotta like this because he's using that jab the way you like him to. Especially when you're being aggressive. You walk in, you want to walk in where the guy can't see you coming. That jab blinds your opponent. Teddy, we know what the problem is. He's getting hit by left hands. Offer up the solution. Well, Joe, there's three lines of defense. Either you're blocking punches, you're moving your head, or you're using his leg. The problem, he's not using any of those. Good left there. Able to land with the right. And he's holding. And there he is, scoring with the right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. 
Back to basics here, as you can see the jab becoming a key instrument for him. Boxing 101. You have an opponent walking in. If you want to stay on the outside, use that jab. Well, he's committed to the left hand, and it's paying off here. Well-placed hook. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. And he returns on that exchange. And that's the end of round five. How about this? Round after round and much the same. Just brilliant fighting from the outside. Plus shot. The left hand came in. A little head hunting with the right. Blocks the head shot. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Undoubtedly, the most effective element of his entire arsenal tonight is his jab. He's so committed to fighting on the outside, and he's jabbing away through. Well, Customato used to tell me, Teddy, he is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Good snapping jab. That's what you need to get inside. Hey, Joe, you're going to rob a bank. You need a smoke screen so the guards don't see you coming. You want to get inside? Use the jab. Well, you should lose your judge's license if you have it any other way but the obvious here, Teddy. Yeah, if they do that, I want to put those guys on a poster, a wanted poster, that you don't want them. Here's our ring announcer. A unanimous decision. Teddy, your scorecard falls in line, and everybody here in the arena knows exactly what happened tonight. Yeah, this was an easy one. I mean, I think that you would have had a big problem with...